Tonight is a do or die game for Cambodia. There's a high chance for you guys to qualify as well. How have you set the team up for the match and also how are the boys feeling? えっと、ま、今日予選突破に向けてすごい大きなチャンス、the, this is like really biggest biggest chance for us to you know go to the next round. Then uh, we are preparing for to for to get a winning point three. So they will they will do something tonight. All right. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.
turn they can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, ten. It is for Thailand, largely unchanged. They've got Adisak due to play in Tringanu later on this season. When the AFF is over, Tirasin Dangda is the man up front. Okay, thank you. Just going to close this door.
A very warm welcome to the Tamasat Stadium. We are in Patam Thani in Thailand. It is the final group match of the AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup group stage, Group A, Thailand versus Cambodia. Both these teams with the opportunity to progress to the semi-finals. Thailand only need a draw to do that. Cambodia must get a victory if they are to make a little bit of history for themselves in this competition under its various guises. The ASEAN Championship, Cambodia have never before made it into the knockout phases. Today, they must do it the hard way. They must win here in Thailand. And they've done pretty well so far, Cambodia. I wouldn't really bet against them too much. They've uh, had victories over both uh, Philippines and Laos. And um, the Philippines are in action today against Indonesia. Um, if Cambodia get a draw and Indonesia uh, lose, Cambodia would lose on the head-to-head. -head. So Cambodia do need that victory, just to explain it. Uh, the matches between Philippines and Indonesia, Thailand and Cambodia going on simultaneously. We'll keep an eye on what's going on over there. As for Thailand though, well, the defending champions are very, very confident. They've eased their way quite nicely through this competition so far. Started off with a comfortable 5-0 victory over Brunei. Then they had a day off, followed that up with a 4-0 hammering here at uh, Patum Thani against the Philippines. And a hard-earned one-all draw against Indonesia where they came back from a goal down with only 10 men on the pitch to score a late equaliser through Sadat Chuyen. And Sadat retains his place in the starting lineup for uh, Thailand, Cambodia who are and Thailand. unchanged in terms of the starting 11 that uh, started against Indonesia. Tiliton Bumanton leading the way. He's re-energized himself and reinvented himself as a an attacking midfield player. Tiraton, we knew him very much as a, a left back, but now in his older days, he's actually going further and further forward rather than dropping backwards. Big match though this is for Thailand. Opportunity to make it through to the semi-finals as expected. An even bigger game for Cambodia though. An opportunity to make history for the young team under the charge of Rui Hirose and Kaisuke Honda. This is the AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup 2022. It's the last round of group games. This is Thailand taking on Cambodia. Tom, 32 years of age now, 76th international Ladies start. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. We'll give you the full team lineups for both sides after the respective national anthem starts with that of Cambodia. And now, the national anthem of Thailand. Let's call the Dang Kwam Kaurop Peng Cha Thai.
Bags of experience in that Thai team there. So Tirasin Danga, who's coming towards the end of his illustrious career, but is still capable of scoring the goals. He's joint top scorer in this competition with three so far, and he will be the main danger for Kyo Tsoktila and Co. They tend to play a back three do Cambodia. And they will be on red alert to deal with both Adisak Kraison and Tirasin Dangda. The front two there is Tirasin. Pretty familiar lineup for Alex Pulking. It'll be a 4 4 2 formation. Sarah June and Tinatan in the heart of midfield. Bordin and Ekinit providing the width out wide. Tinasin and Adisak, the men up front. Kritsada Kaman and Panza are the two central defenders on the bench, should they rely them, uh, re require them. Uh, Winatep and Podomet are capable players of coming on on scoring goals. Two vastly experienced captains, uh, Tiraton. 76th international cap for the Boram uh, midfielder. Omar Hassan Ali is the man in charge from the United Arab Emirates. So Vissal from the Priya Khan Riach club in Cambodia is the opposing captain. He'll be on the left-hand side of a back three. He's another approaching the 70 international caps. This is the Cambodia starting line, but the defensive midfield are as got um, a good result last time out. They they took their time to pick off uh, Brunei 5-1, but a good second half with uh, Limpisoth in particular really running amok against the tiring Brunei. And so Lim and Tien get a start. Again, there's plenty of opportunity for the likes of Nick Taylor, who had a start, and Sati uh, to come on should things go wrong for them in the second half. Alexander Polking will be very aware of the danger that Kaisuke Honda's team uh, pose as the two have a, a friendly pre-match handshake. And before the start, we will have a minute's silence for Pele. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for a moment of silence to honour the life of football legend Pele, who passed away last December 29, 2022. ขอเชิญท่านผู้มีเกียรติทุกท่านร่วมevery man deserved Welcome respect up. of the football community around the world it is the irreplaceable Pele but what a life that we can celebrate Mitsubishi Electric the sponsors for this ASEAN Championship from this season I'm sure they'll be delighted with how it's gone we're going down to the final match day in both groups and we still don't know who the semi-finalists are Philippines versus Indonesia kicking off the same time as Cambodia versus Thailand, Thailand in the blue, Cambodia in the white. Kittipong and Tirasin are teammates at BG Patub United. Ron Peng Crown team provide five of the starting 11 for the visiting Cambodians. Looking forward to this, particularly to see how Cambodia approach this. Thailand get us underway, going right to left. And launched forward looking for Adi Sak, and that's immediately back to goalkeeper Kyo Sokzela. From Chang Chav, who scored a, a fine header goal in the 5-1 win over Brunei. That was made by Sambath. High press coming in from Thailand immediately. Another 4-4-2. It is uh, pretty versatile. You 
away by Jomas Lim. Champoli. Sazalak. Tilda Tom will be the central player of the three as Sarah Julian tries to get forward. Sazalak. Left back getting forward. Sambath will have to be at his defensive best. He can be a little bit flaky defensively. Great going forward, the centre back. You can get at him. Ekinipanya. Interesting. Ekinit is kind of starting almost as a left back. And uh, Sazalak playing an awful lot further forward. Kritzada, Sazalak now reverted back to his normal position. Put in Pala on this left hand side. Sarac, sweeping ball, had to be dealt with. Lim, oh, Panzer just steps in. That's a fabulous challenge by Panzer. And Chipereng from Rompeng Crown, he shows that Cambodia are here to be competitive. Kritzada. Looked like a handball there. He's got away with it, though, as Chanchev. Tiraton. Dictating play from very deep was Bodin Pala. Sada, see the once again. Come back to the where, um, midfielder, stroke fullback, stroke vastly experienced international, and he is at the heart of everything at the moment. For the second time, he's given the ball away. Sambath has a look, goes back to his goalkeeper. Ooh, that was risky. Bodin Parla was closing in on him. Sosuhana, not good for him. Tiratom picks up the pieces. Siat gets in. That was a nervy moment there for Soxela, the goalkeeper for Cambodia. Ekanit. Goes against Sarac. He's another of the BG Patam United triumvirate. Tidatons whip the ball in. That shows you how deep uh, Cambodia having to defend. That's the centre forward there. Siang Chantea loses out. Gosh, how often has Tidaton been on the ball already? Gritzada. That's Sazalak to go outside of him. Here is Sazalak, one of the Boram contingent. Oh, sorry, he's on Logan John Mark, isn't he? He's in, um, he's in Korea now. Panzer, he is from Boram. I think we're seeing in this uh, first five minutes exactly how things are going to pan out. Cambodia largely playing a little bit deep as there's a little pullback there from Budin Parla, the port winger. Sazlak outside of him. 
Blue shirt in the penalty area, Saslak pulls it back. Ooh, important for Sosohana to get a touch there. Might still break to Ekenit. He was the player lining up the volley. Oh, he was... <laughs> Sosuhana gets such an important challenge in, just as Ekenit was a fat thinking of the, the headlines tomorrow. Sosuhana loses out to Sarac. Lovely ball into the feet of Adisak. Odin Pala. Tiraton has seen so much of the ball in this opening six minutes. Up forward and cleared away. Soy Vissal. Cambodia not being able to get any kind of time on the ball. When they do, Pizzada is there to find Sazalak. Tiraton again. Adisak blocked off by Chanchev. So if he's out. Looking in for Tinnison. It's the life when the ball is in the penalty area, Tinnison Dangda. Sliding challenge from Panzer. Thailand absolutely dominating possession, but 80, 90% plus. Sos so, Suhana, Chante, Sos. Tries to look out left to get Limpisoth into the match. Him up against Supanan. That'll be an interesting one if Lim can get any possession. Well, it's been a torrid eight minutes so far, but the first ball, any danger from Siut, comes in and goes out for a throw in on the far side. There's the man they want on the ball, Limpisoth, the Phnom Penh crown striker. Vibrant when he's running at players. Scored two, could easily have scored five against Brunei. Brunei and Thailand are two very, very different uh, types of opposition. As Adisak lays it into space. This is Tupanam. Gives it away, does the fullback. It's another deport contingent. There is uh, Lim. On Chompolin. Time here for Siang Chantie. Sada stoops to clear. Danny Saku does a, an awful lot of the front running. Find Sarah Julian. Pizzada. Tug back on Sarach. Goalless Sin Manila, Philippines nil, Indonesia nil. Sazalak does well, wins the first corner for Thailand. Tiraton, who's been pretty much omnipresent, is the man who'll come over and take this uh, first set play, go short. And Tiraton hoists it to the back post, where it's too high for Panzer.
Sada getting forward. Just look at that. Every white shirt behind the ball. Every white shirt, even just 10 minutes in. Within 40 metres of their own goal. Tidatom knows he can advance forward and does so. This is Superdam. Tidatom once again. It's almost like he's playing as a front sweeper. Adisak. Sazalak. Tidacin loses out to Soy Vissal. Supanan can come forward. Thailand happy to play with just the two central defenders, both fullbacks bombing on. Tidatin as kind of a, a front sweeper. Almost a quarterback dictating the play. Sada, the Chombri centre back, finds Sazalak. Effective work there from uh, your Muslim, one of the Rompen Crown contingent. Superdan, cross comes in, looks for Tiddatin. He got the better of uh, Sambath initially. And then Lim couldn't find uh, Rung when they do get the ball. Cambodia have got to hold on to it for as long as they possibly can. Sazalak. They're looking for Adisak, Saracha a little bit further advanced. To the top, neatly played by Orn Champlain. Saxela has been a little bit uncomfortable with the ball coming back to him in his own penalty area. Chante has done well. Sambath. Saxela dinks it out nicely. Champolin moves it on. Now it's over the top. Pissoff has got a run here. Pissoff cuts in onto his left. Still, Lip Pissoff. And eventually, Grizzada clears. And uh, a wayward effort from Schiaparing. Possession. 66 34. It somehow seems a lot more than that. Thailand have just been in such control of the football in the opening uh, 15 minutes. But here's Chante. Tiraton this time doing some defending. Sadac. Champlin does well. That'll be a free kick. Shapirang getting more and more involved. Done, little nutmeg from the uh, wing back. Have 
not a huge amount of height to aim for. As you can see, Panzer and Tillerson dominating. But Chipperang actually goes for goal. That is not a good option. left on the floor, apology is accepted. Sophie Sal knows he's got to get close. Just close and really close. Sarac. Tillerton has gone a little bit more advanced here. There's Tillerson tries to go around the corner, is dragged back as he does so. So Vizal better be careful, because that's uh, two fouls in quick succession against Tillerson. Tillerton almost inevitably lines this one up. Three in the wall, it's a long way out for Tillerton. And it goes wide for Sarajuyan. Just played around the corner, that's nicely defended. Panzer has to just recycle the ball, which he does to, inevitably, Tillerton. Four to aim for, back post. Header, when it comes in, is from Panzer. Winners here have a, a day's extra rest in terms of the semi finals. Runners up playing on the 6th of January, early next week. Sorry, weekend, isn't it? Sarac. Right then, chance. They've got a, a four on four break here. Ekanipanya. Superhan going outside of him. Good ball in from Ekanit. Superhan is still available. He's the port fullback. Thailand slowing that attack down to such an extent that every Cambodia player is back in their own half once again. Champlain. Sosuhana. Champlain. Peter to play Tursio Berang. He looks up and there's not an awful lot available for him. Hands up tight on the back of uh, Rungboin Hang. And the throw in goes the way of Cambodia. Manu Polking disagrees. Sal, Soxela, again, he almost gets himself into a bit of trouble. Here's Sosuhana, spins it out wide nicely, oh, but a little bit too much on it, that's unfortunate. It's a nice idea, Yumaslim was chasing it, so now Sohana hit the ball too well, if you possibly can. Indonesia have the lead in Manila.
Thailand trying to get an early lead here, but comfortably taken by Soxela. So I think in the, in the Indonesia expected to get the job done against uh, a rebuilding Philippine side. the goal scorer as a long ball runs through comfortably to Soxela, Vizaka goalkeeper. No matter what, Cambodia have made themselves really competitive as we look at the live standings, Indonesia, Thailand would be qualifying as it stands, which I think is what we would expect to happen. the top now oh, that's a kind of forearm smash coming in there from Odin Parla uh, in rugby terms that's a handoff it's allowed in rugby not in football your Muslim feeling the force Friendly to Cambodia for 15 minutes they hardly saw the ball but for the last seven minutes or so Putting one or two passes together, playing with a little bit more confidence. So if Isal makes his way forward. Chanchev. And Cambodia must win. If Indonesia do anything, actually, even if in Indonesia lose, Cambodia would need a win to get ahead of Indonesia on the head-to-head. -head. And it's a case of home advantage. Tomorrow in Group B, big match, Malaysia versus Singapore. Myanmar taking on Vietnam. That's at 8.30. Sambath. Cambodia has grown in confidence, Muslim. Gives the ball away, but it'll break to the Vizaka centre back. Chanchev, cheeky chip into Soy Vizal. He's the experienced campaigner at the back. It is a pretty young Cambodian squad. Rut does well, looks out for Sosohana, who's one of the more experienced players. Looks for Roy. That has to be played back by Kitapong. And Lim Pisos up against Supernan. Shoots cross in. Cleared by Sazalak. On to Horn Champelin. Who's beaten to the punch by uh, Tiraton Bumantan. Come straight back though. Sambath. And Rung. Rung's effort isn't far away. Kitipong looked very relaxed as that went past his right-hand post. Rung Bunhaeng scored a couple of goals against the Philippines on match day one. Not a million miles away there, is he? As Kritzada starts in the back. Three attempts. Thirty-four attack showing where the majority of the ball is, and a lot of the time it's been with Tiraton. Oh yeah. Five defensively. It's off. Picked up the trajectory of that intended pass. On Champelin, lets Lim carry on and Lim loses possession to Sarac. Tirasin finds Budin. Nicely played him once again. 
This is Sada Julian. Oh, it's a poor cross. Sadisak was on the far post. Sadat who scored the all-important goal against Indonesia. Predominantly right-footed, certainly more comfortable on his right foot, Sadat. Sambat. Nicely played, more jumbling. Off. He's got shirts outside of him. She loses out to Agonet. Tiliton does well defensively and launches a ball. for Tillerson to chase. Succella nicely out of his goal, comfortable enough. Here's Kritzada. Supanan. Quick clear by Chanchev. Chante, no free kick, says the referee, Mr. Ali. Tillerson. Plenty of blue shirts ahead of him. Saslak makes space out left. Long ball. Kitty Pong decided to stay in his goal. This is Yang Chante. Only two in the penalty area. Plenty of blue shirts back now. Your Muslim hoisted up. Comfortably dealt with. Bordin Pala is fouled by Sosahana. was looking out wide there to the overlapping Supernan. One of the more experienced players, 29, but only making his seventh international start, Supernan. That's not good. That is not good, and Adisak can take advantage. Tidotom, uh, to the sin to his right. Adisak in space. Adisak! Good coverage. Tidotom. Eventually the cross comes in, could have gone anywhere, miscontrolled as it was, but Sazlak can start again. Oh, it's over your Muslim. Manu Polkin gets on with it quickly. The coach quick to deliver the ball into Tiratan. There seems to be two of him. In. Board in Parler, Adisak, Ekanit, good block coming in from Superank. Pressure though is non stop from Thailand. Tillerson over the top, well done, Tess Sambat, but it only breaks to Adisak. Ekanit, help forward, Tillerson ducks to the top. Three to aim for in the penalty area. Well defended. And a free kick. As Chanchev dived at the ball, Adisak was a little bit too aggressive in his challenge.
and they've defended resolutely have Cambodia. Again, there is a need for them just to retain possession a little bit more carefully than launching it downfield. Depends there on uh, Rungbun Hang and his ability just to hold the ball up, retain possession. Otherwise, the pressure is just going to be never ending. Supanam. Taken out. Chiaparang says no. And Supanam gets the free kick in a, a really good area for Thailand. Difficult to defend. The left footer comes in, it gives the chance of a, a shot on goal. Yeah, it's a free kick. Big men all at the back post. Pizzardas there, Adisak, Panzer, Tillerson, all good in the air. It'll be the left foot of Tillerton, Punyantam, to try and tease it in. Tillerton, could have gone anywhere. Might even have hit Zhup Yarang's uh, hand, but as he stooped it, it came off his face and he was able to complete the clearance. Pizzada. Midfielder turned centre back as Tiraton teases another one in. And again, chaos in the Cambodian rear but they've lasted for 34 minutes. Pressing. Haven't been many big moments for Kyo Sok Sailor. Some scary moments in front of him, but the defence has just got a, a nick in or a head in in the right place for Cambodia. Tillerson finds Adisak onto Tillerson. They go down the middle, there's plenty of white shirts in there to block him off. And Chante, the play out wide to Lim. Lim piss off. Lim onto his left foot. Forces the save. No real angle for Lim in the end. Kitty Pong had his angles right. He has got quick feet as the Phnom Penh crown winger does like to go on his left foot predominantly. one year old to take this corner 14th international start for Lim whipped it in to Chante be a second corner in quick succession Chanchev, who got his final head to the ball, it'll go down as a, a quarter chance. 
went on again. That time, just a, a long launch upfield. Could have 41 passes by Tiddeton. Pizzada, 33, and Panta. So the defensive three. Tiddeton has got by far the majority of forward passes in that uh, statistic. Given away by your Muslim. Tiddeson, good strength. Alisak. Supernam, Suivisal gets there and Tiliton is reading the play. Supernam, and it goes down the outside. Tiliton is available. Angle ball, looks for Tirasin. Sarachuyan has an effort blocked by Tessambath. Rather painfully for the centre back. Should be okay, it'll be winded. Caught him in the stomach and not a little bit lower down because that can be very, very discombobulating. The old little knockdown from the, the big centre forward. It is an option that Thailand can try and utilise. Their fourth corner. Again, they come short. Kritzada. Not a good ball in. Tiraton, delicious. Zarajuyan, that's a lovely ball. Aimed to the back post and well defended. Tiraton again was the target. And brings the board in. Chanchev had to clear. Tiraton cleverly let the ball run and Ekin it chased on. Again, Suvi Sal was out quickly and that just hoisted four by Sarach. Remains 1 0 in the other game Manila, uh, in Manila. Philippines 0, Indonesia 1. Here, goalless. If it stays that way, Indonesia would top the group. Finals taking place on Friday and Saturday. Group A winner would play on Saturday away. Group A runner up. Sorry, uh, play on yeah Saturday away. The Group A runner up play on Friday. Visal down the line. Well, Cambodia, as they showed against Indonesia, can be very competitive. They couldn't have asked for two more difficult away games, Indonesia and Thailand. They put up a Good resistance in both of those games. Losing only 2 1 to Indonesia, having pulled themselves level. Here, yeah. five minutes before half time, still all square. Zambat on the line, but given away by Siang. To the sin. Seems to be very central. There's plenty of white shirts there to block out um, any time moves, and then they can break. Here is Muslim. Chante outside of him. Sosuhana. Sos to the byline. Ooh, what a glorious chance! Oh dear me. Tiang Chante from Angkor had more time than he thought as well. There is the danger for Thailand. Plenty of white shirts up. It's a lovely pullback by Sosuhana. He's done really.
really well to get past Sazalak. Looked up and it was time for a touch there. At least, at least make Kitapong make the save. Target in the match. Sazalak looking for boarding. Indonesia have scored a second goal just before half time. And it's the precocious midfielder, Ferdinand. So Indonesia looking very, very good for the semi finals. Marcelino Ferdinand, 18 years of age, with that second goal. He's a player who looks like he could have a real, real future in the, in the sport. Sos, nicely played, nice little triangle. Up over the top for Rung. Needs the ball to his feet, though, rather than running the channels. Kittipong on to Kritsada. Like Kritsada, capable of playing out from the back, and Sarac just beaten to it. Confirmation of how the group stands. Indonesia still top of the pile. But Indonesia and Thailand drew. So there, the head to head is, is identical. Kritsada. Good fitness levels. Oh, Suivisal tried to get in early. It might break to Sazalak. Oh, the penalty's been given. Right on half time. A penalty given by United Arab Emirates referee Ali. Is it for a high boot? Is there any contact? Sazalak looked like he'd lost control of this. Oh, dear me. That is controversial. But there probably is a touch on the foot. Yes, there is. The foot was high. Samba uh, Muslim needed to avoid going in and making the challenge. Muslim, the guilty party. And all the pressure for Thailand could tell. Glorious opportunity right before half time. Referee Ali, to his credit, was right there. Looks like his decision is vindicated by the replays. And so a penalty for Thailand. Tom, almost inevitably, is the man who's standing up there. Tilasinno is the man who takes control of the ball. This would make him the competition's top scorer if he converts. Three to his name so far in this competition. Tilasin Dangda. In first half, added time to the scene, smashes to the top corner. There is no stopping that. 
And is there any stopping Thailand? In terms of possession, they thoroughly deserve this. Cambodia will look back on that chance for Chante just a couple of minutes ago. Sometimes you're made to live to regret missed chances. Tennyson, when the opportunity comes to the penalty spot. Whoa, that's a fine strike. Fourth goal of this competition. 56th goal in all internationals for Tillerson Dagda. Cambodia may well feel just a little bit hard done by. Sosuhana, though the decision was absolutely correct. In the head to head, Indonesia still top. The overall goal average there, 7 0 win over Brunei. Can come into play if the head to head is equal. A frustration for Cambodia, a bellow from Tassembeth, but it's Tillis Indanda who separates the sides with a goal in first half injury time. Thailand have huffed and puffed, they've had a lot of possession, but they needed the penalty right on the stroke of half-time to give us a half-time situation in the FF Mitsubishi Electric Cup of Thailand 1, Cambodia.
very warm welcome back to Patam Thani. This is Group A as it stands, Indonesia and Thailand level on points, level on the head-to-head. -head. Interestingly, level on goal difference. Indonesia leading the group purely on goals scored. 12 goals scored, two conceded. Indone um, Thailand, 11 goals scored, one conceded. So that could change very much in the second half. Here, Thailand leading Cambodia by a goal to nil. A penalty late in the half by Tirasin Dangda, conceded by Young Muslim. In the other game taking place in Manila, Indonesia lead by two goals to nil in their match against the uh, Philippines. Now, the importance of being top of the group is that you are likely to avoid Vietnam. That assumes there'll be a Vietnam victory against Myanmar tomorrow. Malaysia and Singapore also in action at the same time. So plenty still to play for, plenty still to think of in this AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup 2022. And a couple of changes coming the way of Thailand. Ekinit is out, Pinadon comes through. And Sazlak replaced by Sumanya. Like for like, both. Chanarong on the back. That looked like a, a third change, Chanarong coming in as well. Sati comes on as a, a pacier front leader of the line for Philippines. I'll just get confirmation of that third substitution for Thailand in just a moment. It did look like Chanarong was on as well as Pidadon. As an early ball comes through, looking for Sati, that's comfortable for Kitty Pong. Sati, a diminutive striker, maybe it was Ruing Boon Hank who didn't have that kind of opportunity in the whole of the first half. Maybe he would have put more of a challenge on Kitty Pong. There is the goalkeeper for BG Patam United. This is Panza, the lead leading Buram. Supernam. Bodimpala. Bodimpala gets to the byline, but good defensive work. I like the word of Tess Sambath. Was one of those players I thought you could get at when this competition started, but he's proved to be pretty resolute defensively. Just get confirmation of all those substitutions. Chanarong is indeed on. Weekly play, Chanarong is now leading the line. Tillerson still lurking on the edge of the penalty area. Here is Tinnison. Sumanya getting very, very advanced forward. Sumanya from the Chombri Club. This is 26 international start. 36 years of age now, Sumanya. Tom. Looks like he's reverted to his more natural left-back position. It's almost a 4-2-4, Sumanya in a, a kind of a number 10 position. There he is, the number 7. So Manu Polking using this as an opportunity just to test one or two 
theories that he's got with his squad. Well, bigger tests, of course, still to come. Thailand and Vietnam in some ways are uh, looking at the AFF Cup as uh, an opportunity to try things. Plan ahead for the Asian Cup in uh, 2024. As Panzer goes back to his goalkeeper, Kittipong. Yeah, Tiraton has definitely gone to a, his more usual left-back position in place of Sazalak. Piradon looks down the right-hand side for Supernam. Supernam's done well to retain possession under pressure from Siot. Sarac always, always seems to be available. Piradon just couldn't keep it in play. Piradon Chabrats. Chabratsami from Buram United, he's 30. I remember him coming through the under-23s, Piradon. Where does the time fly? We're into 2023 already. Kyosok Sela. Only one shot on target. That was the penalty from Tillerson just before half-time. Zambath. Chalampong. Young Muslim. Gives it away to Sarac. Sarac Uyun drives forward. Oh, and it's poked home. Zomania within four minutes of coming on and Thailand take a 2-0 lead and top spot in the standings. Zomania put aside his first international goal. And it came from a ball being given away in a Unfortunate slip from Chanchev. Hint of handball, not given. The slip, unfortunate. The toe poke into the corner. And he tells his grandkids this is going to be a 30-yard bullet instead of a scrape of the studs. But Sumanya put aside. First international goal makes it 2-0 Thailand. Cambodia. Goals either side of half time. Really make this uh, an impossible quest now. The game plan was to sit back and try to make the home nation sweat for their goals. Two quick goals completely changed the, uh, the equation. Thailand top of the pile on goal difference. Scoring goals internationally now. Chanarong through on goal! Just lifts it over the top. Chombri, midfielder comes striker. Very much leading the line, he's clearly on side. See what he's trying to do, just mark it into the top corner as the goalkeeper came out. Difficult times for Cambodia. And 
Mendoza. This could be a long, long 45 minutes, well, 37 minutes now. Thailand, crisp. Nil, Indonesia two, Thailand two, Cambodia nil. Thailand top of the group, they and Indonesia filling the top two spaces of this group, I think as many expected. Just the poor form of Philippines is has been the surprise, I think, but they are very much rebuilding Philippines. Their match they want 3-2 defeat to Cambodia and set up Cambodia's tournament, which has been respectable up to now. Tiddersen, still Tiddersen. Flag is up for offside. UAE match officials, Woody Parler, the guilty to Commerce Party. Soy Visal. That Jules one is an interesting one. Thailand, they have a lot of the ball because they, they win a lot of the ball. Comes the ball into Pyridon. Do have a surfeit of riches to Thailand. Yes, they're missing a Chana tip from this group. If you would say it's their best 11, but still very, very good. That's a lovely ball in by Sumanya. And no penalty. So Visal just got out the way in time. Referee Ali right on point once again. It was Supernan who was driving through. I don't think Supernan was diving. Maybe he was. Looking for the contact, and so he did well. Just to withdraw his legs at the right time. Julian hands the ball into Sumanya. That's the second goal from another angle. It is just a, a toe poke. Tom operating at left back. Might break 
forward. Oh, it's a challenge on the edge of the penalty area. Father it was who's gone down. Sarac, Tillerson, board in. Quick feet, Tillerton is there. Tillerton to Tillerson. Tillerton, edge of the penalty area, Sumania. Good defending. It's been gutsy from Cambodia. Absolutely, really strong commitment from the team. As we have a look, yeah, that's a challenge. You've seen them giving us free kicks. You get the impression that the UAE referee is showing a little bit of sympathy to Cambodia at the moment. Somanya's corner. Extravagant volley. Cambodia think uh, going for respectability. Still plenty of white shirts behind the ball, and then maybe trying to break up pace. And then Sarti gives the ball away far too easily. Tirasin to Borden. Straight into the grateful arms of goalkeeper Kyosoksela. Scored once already in this tournament, Borden Pala. do seem to have an, an extra gear, 68 attacks, nine attempts from those 68 attacks. Cambodia have been far more productive in terms of attempts on goal. Effort onto his weaker right foot. Never really sat down for him, did it? He was trying to curl it into the corner. Once again, Tiraton. It's over Sumania, then over Tirasin. Sumania to Piraton. That looked a lot closer from the side of the pitch than it was from real life. Taylor gives the ball away, Tillerson. Chanchev rescues him and then brave enough to play out from their own penalty area. Sindanga. Yeah, 
news and what's going on in Manila. As we approach the midway point of this second half, it's still Philippines nil, Indonesia two. Thailand two, Cambodia nil. Thailand top of the group on goal difference. It's the head-to-head -head between Indonesia and Thailand, identical. Shabarang just couldn't stretch enough. Chanarong can chase. Two in the penalty area for any cutback. Chanarong. Tillerson off the post. And back into a grateful goalkeeper's loves. Chanarong did beautifully down the right hand side and then picked out his man when it broke to Tillerson. He was so calm in his finish. The goalkeeper had a little bit of luck. Tiraton beaten by Sambat. So Sohana. Looking for Sarti. He's got pace, Sarti. And Sarti is denied by Kittipong. A hint of a foul on the edge of the box by Klitsada. There is uh, the pace of the 21-year-old Sarti. Is that a foul? If he stays down, do they get a penalty? Kinsada Kaman, the big clearance in the end. Should be down. I suspect a win is out of the question, but a goal possibility for Cambodia. Sumanya, cleverly done. Sumanya put aside. Chases again. He's loving his chance up front. Sarats gets in there, Bordi Pala. To Sarak. Played at their pace now for Thailand. Miradon. There's the excellent work, and when it breaks to Tiraton, just see how clinical he is. The keeper did well initially, got just enough of a hand on the ball. Sosuhana. Shows some really neat skills, Sosuhana. There's pace here, goalkeeper's a long way out. He's got away with one there, has Kittipong. Shut. Sati. Still Sati. He's done well. Big chance, slid home beautifully by Sieng Chante. And there is the goal that they deserve. And a quarter of the game still to go. Sati running at the tie back line. And then over on the right hand side, and Sieng Chante took his time. Cuts inside Gritada. That's a lovely, cool finish. Third 
international goal for the Blunkhead striker. Just 20 years of age and real, real experience shown in that finish. Now we have a game. This is his last contribution. No, it's not. He's just giving a high five. Nick Taylor comes on. American based, American born. He's a strong runner as well. And of course, it changes the whole structure of the group as well. Then easier go back on top. That's the goal scored. two against, Thailand are 12 goals scored, two against. Well, something needs to separate those two teams for top spot. Is Tiddetong. Goal for Thailand would help them. Beautifully played. Belted clear by Champolin. Cambodia still think that they might be able to get something out of this match. Schutt has made a great run down the left. It's just stayed on side. Little give and go. Chante, fresh from the goal. Referee plays an advantage. Sumanya. Still playing with confidence, I have liked the way throughout this whole group. They've kept the ball on the floor, they've tried to play football, they've played to their obvious advantages. When Rung is leading the line, they try to go a little bit more centrally with the pace of Sarti. They've uh, used the pace. Sarti, making life difficult for Panzer. Foul goes against Don Champolin. The change for Thailand. The pacey right back come winger. Jerome Sack, one court comes in. Direct replacement for Supernam. Saka, Wong, Wong Tong United, sixth international cap. Ball straight away. When he first played in the Thai league, there was uh, not a lot to him. He's built himself up quite considerably, as has Tess Sambath. It's uh, a foul, though, against Sambath.
Anton's ball. Chanchev's header. Long range effort. Always looked like it was going wide for Kyosuk Sela. But Jaronsak into the action instantaneously. Catches the ball very nicely, Jaronsak. Interesting one to decide who comes top of the group. The goal difference and goal scored from all the group matches is identical between Indonesia and Thailand as it stands. Maybe we go down to yellow cards. Here's Jerome Sack. Good drive from Jerome Sack. His left foot is weaker, and you can see the chagrin of his teammates saying, just play the ball across us. Well, the red card from Sandrawat could well be a decisive matter. Hirose and uh, Kaisuke Honda can be I think, content with their team's efforts, but fortunately, it looks like it's not going to be enough. So, Sohana can't get him. Nicely played. Chanarong couldn't get it out of his onto his right foot. Ooh, that's just wide. That one was Pinadom coming through. Catches it beautifully outside of the boot. It's not far away. Boris Koch comes on for the neat and tidy on Champelin. This is the last match against Brunei, courtesy of suspension, picked up two yellow cards. Boris Koch and Thierry Chantabin. He comes on at centre back. So they've not given this one up, um, Cambodia. coming into today. Thailand, two yellow cards and a red. So depending on discipline today, that could well be deciding the outcome at the moment. On the disciplinary situation, Indonesia second, but Tirasin is trying to make that redundant. Now look at this, you've got Siang Chante. Oh, we let it go. Eye off the ball, Sati inside of him. That's the shot in, Kittipong lets it bounce in front of him. Good clean take.
Woody Parler. Looking for movement in the penalty area. Sarac. Tidatom moving forward. Tidatom to Tidatom. Blocked by Soy Vizal. Right in front of his own goal. They have defended very, very well. Some very, very hairy moments. Tillerton once again. It's uh, a little bit overcooked. Barring a catastrophe, qualification is assured. Cambodia had more of the ball in the second half than they did in the first half, but still talent bossing the possessional stats. That's cool. The only chance of in. And Boris Cock starting a good movement forward. Boris Cock and he's carried on his run, but Tillerton just picks up the the loose ball. Picked up today by either Indonesia or Thailand, came to board in parlor. So, Thailand do need a goal if it goes on head to head in terms of yellow and red cards. Thailand would be the losers. Hoisted in, Kritzada can't get there. Make things interesting. There is a goal for the Philippines in Manila. So that changes the perspective as Tinaton defends wonderfully well. That's how he made his name as a, an aggressive left back. Rasmussen with his third goal of the tournament for the Philippines. And he might fancy doing something against Indonesia as well. The Philippines are eliminated, so that won't make a big difference. Cambodia still need a win, so the qualifiers are pretty much guaranteed. It's still fascinating to work out who's going to come top. Tillerson did brilliantly to protect himself from Thierry Chantabin, Zemanya wasn't on hand. Boris Koch lost the ball, then won it back. Comfortably into the gloves of Kittipong. Well, Cambodia, as they did against Indonesia, have proved that they are an improving nation. 
Long ball over the top, Tillerson can chase, diving header. Will it break to a blue shirt? The answer is no. So Hannah. Space down the right. It's over everybody, Jerome Sachs header. That's a, a high challenge. So Hannah will pick up a yellow card. So that's caught. As he was in the move. Oh, that's that's so. That is naughty. I don't think there's any intent. He's going for the ball, but it's a full stud onto the ankle of uh, Sarah Julian. We still don't know what's going to happen in Group B tomorrow. Big game, big causeway. Clash between Malaysia and Singapore. Singapore have seven points, Malaysia six. Vietnam, they are hosting Myanmar. Do so we have a look at the, uh, the penalty? In the first half injury time that was dispatched by Tillerson Dangda, his fourth goal of the tournament. And then Sarah Julian plays in Sumania to Toko Kome, number two. First international goal for Sumania put aside. Since then, though, Cambodia pulled one back. 15th and final change. Like a Potomet who's going to come on with uh, encouraging words for him. run and a free kick one by Sumanya put aside. Sos Suhana must be close to a yellow card, the number of fouls that he's put together, Sos. Nice direct running from put aside. Change, Potomet comes on, the youngster, for boarding pilot. <laughs> 24-year-old for Mong Tong United, goes straight into the action. Tillerson tries to head goalwards, it's 2-1. Cambodia will still feel they've got a chance here. Trying to play off the back, doesn't quite work. There is Samanya once again. Sarach. Chanarong. Very hectic schedule in the group phases. The semi finals and final are right on top of each other as well. So Thailand have tried to utilize as much of the squad as possible. The Polkings being pretty clever in that um, manner. It's Sarac. He's been a, a constant. Pulls the ball away there, but it's uh, been one back. By Tillerson. 
Salah Julian. Given away, Janarong, Tillerson, Tillerson Danga! That's a stunning finish. That's the point sorted, probably top spot sorted. And Tillerson Danga, fifth goal of this campaign. Gosh, oh, she really is quality, Tillerson. 60th international goal, one touch out of his feet and then across the body. This will be the perfect angle to watch it. Most normal strikers go to the goalkeeper's left, he comes across him to the right, finds the side netting. That is a top-level goal by a top-level striker. Top spot, virtually guaranteed now. Well, Patamdani has been the venue for the group games. Rajamangala, the likely venue for the finals. There's been a pop concert there, so I think what the state of the pitch will be is that's a header, not far over from Chante, who's been really, really busy in this second half. Tillotom, down the line. Tillotom has been involved since the very, very start drawn central midfielder in the early stages. Tiradong's hard running. Tiradong. Tiradong on a hat-trick! Oh, oh. Keeps on taking such good positions and Tiradong Bumantan keeps on finding him in such good positions. to the team, their hard work and their ability to hold on to possession it means that this ASEAN level, oh, big shots. Curl just wide. That was Chanarong on his favoured left foot. Well, the chance have come thick and fast in the latter stages for Thailand. Two on Indonesia in Manila. Thailand top on ten points, but goal difference will see them through as group leaders. The group A winner play the first leg away on Saturday. at home, probably at the Rajamangala on the 10th of January. Final whistle goes to the Sondanga, a brace for him, a penalty in first half injury time, a stunning right footer in second half injury time, five competition goals, Two today out of five attempts, three of which are on target. His passing is good as well, close to 90% accuracy. He's a standout contributor as man of the match. Brave effort from Cambodia. They deserve the goal that they got from the hard-working Sian Chante. They created chances in the second half, but in the end, Tillerson and the subject Samanya, who scored five minutes into the second half. They were the key personnel. It's finished, Thailand three, Cambodia one. And Thailand, I believe, will top the group as group winners because Indonesia have only beaten the Philippines by two goals to one. 
So Tillerson is the man of the moment, probably the man of the match. And Thailand will look forward to home advantage in the second leg in the semi-final. Good performance from Thailand, and they were able to spread the love. They used all five substitutes. Possession, 63 to 37. 22 attempts to 12, five on target to four. Six hundred and eighty-one passes, close to 90% accuracy. has finished Philippines 1, Indonesia 2, Thailand 3, Cambodia 1. Thailand with a plus 11 goal difference and 10 points win the group ahead of Indonesia. Brave ever for Cambodia for P3.